Good morning. <laughs> Starting to live. Clear my throat. Good morning, everybody. I don't know if there's any other early birds on today. We're going to be doing a little jewelry haul. This is totally impromptu. I have a disc golf tournament today later. Let me get some coffee. So uh, I won't be here for my usual one o'clock time. So I figured that I would come on live this morning while I have an opportunity to do so. Yeah, All right, I'll leave it there. Let me get, let me drink some of my coffee. Hmm. I don't know if anyone's gonna stop me right now. Okay, so we're gonna finish this bag. I forgot I had this, I'm gonna be totally honest. <laughs> I've pulled out a bunch of stuff from it. Pull this back in the box shelf. This is the box that they like, they gave me this everything in a grocery bag. It was kind of strange, but you know, I'll take it, I guess. Not that I have any other option, really. Let me some of this stuff aside. This is just like some goodies from before. So I'm getting ready. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Jennifer. Wait, who else is here? Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Beth. Sorry, I couldn't see my. I had like one of those stupid, like, your computer may be under attack virus thingies coming up whatever all right oh is this did we, no we didn't look at these did we i wonder if we have this friend in there i'm just gonna start grabbing an organ because i don't have all the time in the world today let me move this castle all the way maybe you guys can see skeet in the background hanging out doing his fishy thing i hope the lighting's okay it's a little shaded from the fish tank oh there he is now um so yeah, sorry, I'm just checking out the fish. Okay, he looks good. I haven't like given him a close inspection the past couple days. I like to watch my fish, make sure they're doing okay. All right, this is interesting. These are polymer clay pieces. Looks like some hand done pieces here. Those will be really cute if I can find the match. Ooh, I'm digging in the bag now. Oh, darn it, it's broken. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? That would be a really cool piece to repurpose into something now there's a lot we got a lot of tangles going on in this bag this morning so what's everyone up today to today oh thank you jennifer <laughs> he's you know i missed having a fish i've had fish for a long time actually i was just looking oddly enough at my old house <laughs> the one we sold up in uh, northern virginia and you can see like from the photos from the listing some of my older tanks or old tanks I should say I don't have any of my tanks anymore this one that skeets in was brand new I got it or not new to me I got it for free off of Craigslist so I'm just trying to pull some things out and detangle as I go no not Craigslist it was Facebook marketplace they had it up there for free I was like are you serious no one's picked this thing up this tank, it's like a $70 tank. And they were just giving it away because they were moving. It's like, uh, yes, please. I'll take your tank. And then I put a fish in it. Because <laughs> what else are you going to do with that? Uh, another one. These things. I feel like I get these all the time. Are these Heshi beads? Heshi beads? Well, maybe I should show you on the camera. Maybe you would be able to see what the heck I'm talking about. I have these lotted up in a stone lot, getting ready to sell it. And here's another one. I've got three in there. I don't know. Do these sell for anybody? You have two betas? Oh. Now, do you say beta the way that it shouldn't be pronounced? Or do you say beta the way that it apparently should be pronounced? Okay. More sip of my coffee. Mmm. My door is open to you also. If you hear kids screaming in the background, I apologize. My mom's here so, to watch them so we can go to the tournament together. Me and hubby. And so she has control of them right now. What is that? Is that a foot? Okay, weird. All right, listen. This is what I have in my lap that I'm trying to deal with. But look at that. It's got a fly on it and a spider. Or are those two spiders? What on earth? Any insight on that one would certainly be appreciated because what the heck is that? <laughs> Woo, 
sorry. Take a new stand for a ride. <sighs> okay, well, that's different. It feels like it's, I don't think it's plastic. It feels like a stone. That is unusual. I don't know what else to say about that one. Are you hungry, Mr. Skeet? I'm going to feed him before I go. Yeah, it looks, yeah, right? Yeah, I say beta too. Okay. Apparently it's supposed to be beta. I guess it has two T's, so it's technically pronounced beta. Do I pronounce it that way? Absolutely not. Yeah, separate tanks, of course, I would hope so. I had, let's see, I think I had five tanks set up at one point in time. And I used to do, I don't even want to call it a nonprofit because it wasn't official at all, but I used to do beta rescues where I'd go to, I have like a whole blog on it on the internet somewhere. I used to go to um, pet stores and get the ones that were like dead, like half dead in the cup and come home and try to revive them and rehome them. So I did that a number of times, maybe like nine times or so before I moved and stopped doing it. Hmm. But at one point I had, I had a 10 gallon and then I had a 10 gallon divided that I had two betas in. I had a snail tank, a 10 gallon snail tank. I think that might've had a beta in it too. I had a 55 gallon planted tank. That was a catastrophe. Um, I can't do plants apparently. I'm trying again. This whole tank behind me is planted. It's like a work in progress. Everything's just stuck in there right now. I'm waiting for the wood to uh, sink and stuff like that. It's got like some funkiness growing on the roots. I got to address. Um, what else do I have? I had a 20 gallon long. That was my favorite tank. And that was the one that lasted the longest. And then I don't know what I did with it, to be honest. I'm going to just chuck this. Out. I've got a box at my feet for repurposing and I've actually got someone local that's interested in buying all my repurposed jewelry. So I'll probably just, if she buys the rest of it, I'll just gift her the, this box too. And she can have a supply for a while. I don't know that I'm going to do another box like this for a while, just because there's so much junk, if I'm being honest, you know, there's not a lot of goodies and the money I can spend on uh, hi Lou. Lou is down here, Nessa. The money I could be spending or the money I do spend on these boxes I could spend on getting jewelry that I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Look at Skeet. He's like, what's going on over here? He's got a huge tank, but he's choosing to come down in this corner. This is his whole tank right now. It needs some uh it needs some rearranging. All right, so that's gonna go in there too, I guess. I don't, there's like nothing really that I see in here that looks too crazy good, but I'm hoping maybe we'll get some cute. These are kind of cute. They're just little cross earrings. Those are kind of sweet. I wonder if they have anything on them. Probably not. Yep, mostly junk. I know. And but you know what it is? It's like an abusive relationship. I've said this before. I really like these. They're just like dainty and sweet. I'm just gonna set this aside. I said this before. It's like an abusive relationship where like you're ready to quit and you're like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. And then you get something good and it like keeps you coming back. These are pop tops. <laughs> okay. Luna, what are you doing? She's like She's like, the door's open, so I'm going to come in and bug you now. I guess I'm going to throw Aww. these in the... Can you hear her? <laughs> she's... No! She's standing behind me trying to claw me. I'm like, going to swing this around. I don't know if you can see her. Well, I don't, I don't want to mess up my camera arrangement. See, now, like... Oh, no, I thought that said Sterling on it. This is different. I mean, just the, like super sparkly precious metal then it's on like hemp. I thought it kind of looks sterling-y, doesn't it? But then it's not prong set or anything, so I would be very surprised. I'm just gonna throw that in the craft lot too. Let's see, I got so much left in this bag. If you see anything good, tell me in the chat. I'm hoping. 
You may get one piece that pays for the box and the rest is mediocre. Yeah. Yes. Now I've had some like banger pieces in here before, but you know, one of them, was it a shop good bill? I can't remember what it was, but it was a costume piece. Well, lucky for me, the costume piece beat up still had value. I sold it for, it was like right around a hundred dollars. And I got lucky though, but the piece was in not the greatest shape. It had faux pearls on it that were peeling and it had missing rhinestones and stuff, but it was a, a name brand collector's piece. So I just got lucky, but you know, they didn't put that in the box thinking, Oh, here's something valuable. Like they put it in because it was junk. <sighs> like this one. I don't even remember what was in this box that was worth it, the time and effort. I keep digging off the oh, let me scoot my whole chair over because I feel like I'm picking through this thing off camera. And I just got a new uh, setup for my iPad to stand on. So I'm sorry if I'm, I'm adjusting to it. And this is not going to be my room anymore either. I'm moving into the bedroom, which I explained before. My kid's not here, so I can say it again. I'm, I'm giving him my room. So this, this room that I've been, it's like a guest room slash, uh, my office, although I really just take up a small portion of the wall, um, is going to be his new bedroom. He's 11 now. He shares it with his two younger brothers right now. Ew, black hair. And it's just time. So this is a keychain, I guess. I'm just throwing it in there. I don't want to deal with it, you guys. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't. You know, I think the stuff down there was actually wearable. Ne wearable, not terrible jewelry, but... It's fine. If that one chick wants to buy it, I'll just give it all to her. Oh, these are glass. Okay. We got, we got maybe something with potential. Yeah. I mean, we've, what are we going to do? We got three kids and three bedrooms total, including the master. So we have some, some rooms in the basement, but they're just not ready to be bedrooms yet. I think this is a drink charm. This is not jewelry. The same jewelry in Goodwill. That goes on your wine glass, not on your necklace. I can't figure out. Okay, there we go. Kind of. This is really, I feel like it's got all the potential in the world, but it's tangled. It feels early to be singing. It's only nine o'clock and I actually don't have that much time. I got to go in like 20 minutes max. Okay, cool. No, there we go. There we go. Is there anything on there? Mm, no brand name. Let me pull this in my lap for a second. I hear like someone's rooting around in there in the other room. I bet it's my oldest. I bet he's getting himself crackers. He's like a cracker fiend. His weakness is crackers. You know, some kids like candy or something like that. He loves the crackers. Okay, here we go. This is actually quite pretty. I'm going to ask $5 on this. This is the first sellable piece I see in here. This is all metal. Actually, it's not like a rope or anything like that. These are glass faceted beads. So we have a bunch of rondelles on here. There's some other ones like this. What is that? A bicone shape? Is that what we call that? It's graduated. It's very, very long. There's two strands here. There's another one. Like a barrel cut. And that's so cool. Look at the way the light looks on that. Love it. When these boxes first came out, nobody expected to find anything spectacular in there. We used to get them and challenge ourselves to see what we could make with the junk in them. Maybe that's the mindset I need to have. Maybe that's the mindset. I need to make it cool. I'm going to say $5 on that, guys. That one's really pretty. It looks like something I would have worn to my... It reminds me of a necklace I wore to my wedding. I guess the, the problem, I suppose, is that in the description, they kind of lead you on, you know? Unsorted, could be precious metal, blah, blah, blah. So then it's kind of becomes like a gambling thing, you know? It's like you're taking a gamble on the pieces. It's not It's not a source of crafting things anymore. You know what I mean? This one's got a tag on it. It says Park Lane. Yeah, Park Lane. Okay. Well, 
That's something. It feels a little grody though. I don't know if that, if Park Lane, just a chain of Park Lane has any value to it, but that's okay. And the other thing too, I don't mind picking through finding treasures and giving the rest to someone who's going to craft it. I actually, I've sold a couple from people that reach out to me on, on like through YouTube. Um, but a lot of times I re-gift it to people that want it, or I take it to my local, there's a place around here in uh, my local city that it's just a craft store. And it's an all donate, it's like a thrift store, but just for crafters. So they get donated. This one is all, I think these are glass. They get all donated pieces of just like half used paint supplies or paint brushes, sketch pads that still have plenty of pages left photographs that people can use. Although I do have my qualms with that, but that's another story. Actually, I'll tell you that story, but I'll tell you that story after I look at this. Okay. Now just gold tone. I can't tell if these are, I don't, this feels gross. I don't want to do the teeth test on this. I can't tell if these are glass or not, but they certainly look like it though. I don't know. I'm just going to throw it in my crappy box anyway. Um, fabric, yarn, all those things. The problem I have with the photographs is that I, I do go and check the photographs when I'm there sometimes. Like they have photo albums a lot. People just donate whole photo albums. And sometimes they have really cool vintage pictures in them. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I, I look for uh, resale photos. This is kind of neat. This is Mother of Pearl. Yeah, Mother of Pearl. This one's kind of pretty. It's just a silver tone. Nice and line on my, oh no, I do have my, my thing. It's probably about 20 inches, give or take. That's cute. Why is it not focusing though? Come on camera. What's it focusing on? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let me do the old smash test and see if we can refocus. All right. There we go. That's pretty. I'll say $3 on that one if anyone claims it right now. Good morning, Tanya. You're up early. Hey, Anitra. Welcome in. I missed you. Hello. Hello. Good morning, everybody. So my thing with the photographs is last time it was in there, um, they had, someone had donated photographs of like their young girl, like children in bathing suits. And then I know, I don't know guys, exploitation of children is a uh, subject that hits close to home and I'm not on board with it. And I People think it's very innocent to just give stuff away like that. But be careful what you do with your photographs is all I'm saying. Okay. You don't know what kind of creeper is going to be doing weird stuff with photos. And just a little PSA for you. Call me paranoid, but I'm not. <laughs> Look at this little glass. This, oh, no, it's not glass. This is plastic. Okay. But I like the way the light hits inside of it. Isn't that pretty? Look at that color. I love that. It's like a aqua blue. That's a really pretty bead. Here's another one. Who was it? Someone commented that they sell plastic beads all day long and have no problem with it. Um, I don't. I can't find the class to pull this off. It looks like it's a multi-strand one. I don't know. Hopefully someone can do something cool with it. I really like that bead though. And then this guy is also clinging onto it and I don't feel like dealing with him. So he's going to go in there too. Boop. There he goes. This I also saw. <sighs> this looks like someone put some effort into making it. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. My knee keeps, keeps hitting the stand. I'm going to have a completely different setup soon. I'm really jazzed about it because my, my whole table is going to be able to move. It's on wheels. So I can move it out and sit comfortably instead of at the super awkward angle I'm sitting at now. Oh yeah, hit the thumbs up guys. I keep forgetting to request that, but I'll see those 12 folks watching and three thumbs up. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all being here this morning. I can't believe how many people are up and on YouTube right now. I thought I'd be talking to myself. So thank you for being here so I can converse with you lovely, lovely people. This feels stone, but I can't really tell what kind of stone it is. 
I thought when I was pulling it out, I thought it was picture Jasper, but it definitely does not look like that now. I have no idea. Can anyone tell? I don't know how clear that photo is. I had acquired a huge lot of jewelry and beads from the 1970s, and uh, the stuff was awesome. I sold an awful lot of it at bead shows. Oh, oh mostly plastic. Really? Interesting. I'm holding on to some plastic beads from my childhood. Um, they're like those old pop beads. I'm going to set those aside and put those in the stone lot. Actually, I'm going to do that with this guy, too. Um, the, you know, the you guys know, right? Anyone who is here and as old as me knows pop beads that they look like this, but all the, but maybe just round and all the ends like stick into the next bead. So each bead has a female male part and you pop them together and then you can pop them apart, make them any size you want. Another plastic bead thing, speaking of plastic beads. <clears throat> we got a K, which is my mom's name starts with a K. She would never wear this, so I don't know why that's relevant, but I'll throw that in the box, too. What else do we have? Oh, let me pick y'all's brain about something since you're here. Um, I had a few of the pop bead necklaces. Who Raise your hand. Show hands. Who had pop beads? I did. Um, my question is, would anybody... I'm thinking about starting something new. Me and my husband were talking about this last night because he's got his new schedule. So we're trying to figure out how can I make a schedule for YouTube stuff? Because I'm not, listen, I'm on whatnot. I have things on eBay, but YouTube like has my heart. I just, I love you people. I love the way I can chat with you guys casually. I don't have to sell stuff. Like, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to sell and then show up on all the time on whatnot. If you know what I mean? Like, the, you got to have a loud personality to be selling on whatnot. And I'm not saying that I don't have a personality, but I feel like I'm not loud enough. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. If you guys have been on whatnot, hopefully you know what I mean. I don't know what these are either. Uh, are these also... I can't tell if these are... No, these look like, like a shell bead, like another shell bead kind of situation. Um, anywho, so that's neither here nor there. What I'm thinking is starting to post up videos of like how to art videos, like kind of like a paint night style thing, but just out there for public for anyone to access that wants to paint it or something like that. I don't know. This is just what I'm brainstorming with my husband because I used to do those. I don't know. You guys probably don't know that, or maybe you do. I don't know, but I used to host those classes. I had that was one of my side businesses. I've had like a few <laughs> side businesses, but one of them was those paint night classes where I, but I actually went to people's house. I brought, I had like 25 easels. I'd come to people's houses, however many people their party had, bring that and walk them through doing a painting. And they had part, like people would host it. Um, and they would have hors d'oeuvres and stuff for the guests. And then they'd just pay me and everybody left with a painting. It was a lot of fun. Um, I can't get this undone. There are some things that were more fun than others. Look at the knot in that guy. Hooey! Nope. 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 Not dealing. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you a knot? Are you a magnet? Mystery solved. And this is stupid. This is stupid. Why people put magnets on necklaces that are highly magnetic, I will never understand. Drives me bananas. Anywho, so, um, I don't know. I was thinking about reviving that. Oh, look, it's not even on the necklace. It's just the loose magnet. Okay, well, I don't know what to say about that. Keep it away from my computer, I guess. Um, okay, I'll stick it over there. Anywho, so it'd be like a, it would be a live paint night, but like maybe not necessarily at night. And I would give you like a list of materials if you wanted to follow along or you could just hang out or neither. <laughs> but I just, I really enjoy art. I'm trying to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I guess, do, well, this is a really pretty chain. The things I enjoy most to do in my free time. 
is play with jewelry, do art, and maybe disco. And so, at like the, my me time, like obviously I love hanging out with my family and all that stuff. But I'm saying me, myself, and I. These are the things I really enjoy. So I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate that into the channel and kind of like combine hobbies, but also mm -hmm. not put people off. You know, I don't want to start doing art stuff. Then people that were here for jewelry are like, peace out. This ain't what I'm into. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to do one day art and one day jewelry. Maybe. I kind of dig this. I just have a sparrow on a chain very similar to this. I don't know. So I guess I'm just wondering if that would even be something anyone here specifically would be into. If not, it's not a big deal. We're also kind of thinking of like how to do something a little kid friendly. So like homeschoolers or something like that could, could pick up on it and do it too if they wanted. I can't get this off. Grr. I really, I wanted, I want this guy. But I don't want this guy. <laughs> You're making me mad, silver chain. I don't know. Just a thought. And then it could just be like a donation-based thing. Like if you're getting anything out of it, you can contribute. Like whatever you wanted or nothing at all. Just to like keep me in supply of paint supplies and stuff like that. Um, or not. Because I would still be enjoying doing it. This is actually... All right, it's in decent shape, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's got a knot, and it makes me mad. So I'm gonna put it down here. But I do like this one. I know. I just think it's kind of cute. It's kind of short though. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, no worries. Thanks for popping in. Bye, Nitra. How about making art with craft jewelry? Yeah. See, that's what I was thinking too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, people could send photos too. That would. That would be fun. Um, you know, it lends itself to like a way to kind of do different things. You know, you could, you don't have to just paint a picture. You could craft with jewelry and show people how to make something out of jewelry or, you know, I do, I have, um, my husband reminded me last night, I have a kiln. <laughs> so, you know, walk people how to, through, through how to make, jewelry from clay or uh, something else. I don't know. I'm going to move that into the stone necklace lot too. Two random balls on a string. What are those? Those kind of look like maybe they're red jasper. They're like too brown to be red jasper. They feel like stone though. I don't know. I don't know what those ones are. Got some sort of good grief. I can't make out what the heck that's supposed to be. A dragon? That's intriguing. Oh, is that all? The, this is all in the same thing. Okay. Does anybody know what this is? Interesting. Mary, good morning. How have you been? I have not seen you in forever. Make some vases of craft jewelry. Oh my gosh, I've never attempted that. But that sounds like it could be fun. Of course, I'm about to sell all of my craft jewelry. So I am hanging on to a few things. I'm hanging on to a few things. I just, I hang on to the really sparkly stuff. Because that's my bag. I love sparkles. What can I say? Oh my goodness. I can't get it off. But I am am like so curious as to what this is supposed to be. We've got a bell. And then we've got this charm. Looks like a dragon, maybe. It's kind of a cool little medallion charm thing there. My iPad doesn't want to focus on it, but that's okay. Oh, here comes the children. Maybe we should close the door really quick. Although I'm not going to be on much longer. I don't. I don't feel like picking through all this. Is this this is so lazy of me? I'm like, eh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Because I think I already made my money off this box and I'm like unmotivated to to work on it more. Oh, little puppy paws. Ain't that cute? There's a little shell charm in there. I think there's some goodies in here. That would be fun to do what you're talking about, Sue, of like challenging yourself, doing like a group challenge of like like a I don't know with who, just some people that are crafty and want to collaborate, I guess. Of like who could make the best piece of jewelry or whatever from 
upcycled pieces. That would be fun. All right, how much time do I have? Not much. Actually, I really need to start getting ready for this tournament. There's like not that much jewelry left. And I still have, you guys, I still have a giant box from Misty that I haven't touched. It's still in the package. Like the original package. All right, let's do a quick dig. Quick dig, quick dig. Oh, there's a Domo! <laughs> In case you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. It's a Domo earring. I am so sorry. Women's in back of me with a toy, and she's throwing it around like it's a threat. Oh, yeah. She's, like, doing the shaky dog thing. You get that toy, Lou. You show who's boss. This one is a... What are you? I cannot even read that. Something. Ambassador? What the heck is that? I've never heard of that brand. Ambassador. Ambassador. It's very lovely, though. Good grief. This thing's in good shape. It'd be nice if you were a real gold. <laughs> I highly doubt it. But it'd be cool. Oh, look at this one. It's also very shiny and in nice shape. So we'll I kind of dig this one. So give me disco vibes because the baskets have chains. Ooh, what are you? Oh, this is that one that fooled me, you guys. I was certain with all my heart and soul that it was sterling, but it's not. It's not. I can't, I still can't believe it. The match is sitting around here somewhere. It's like malachite, I do believe. Like real malachite, and it looks like sterling. Where the heck is your match? It's around here somewhere. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but it's not real sterling. But it is cute. It's a cute little earring. Oh, I like this one too. I was saving pieces up for the bling tree, but I've been trying to stick with post backs. I like this one actually. I like that a lot. The Bead Society I belong to has a challenge every year, although we get a kit and everybody gets the same stuff. It's amazing to see all the different takes people have and what they make. That that would be so much fun. I would love to do something like that. Oh my gosh. So how does it work? Do you guys sit like in the same room and are timed or like, how does it, I would love to hear more about that. That sounds so much fun. I just absolutely love the metal work on this. I'm wondering, it's just like really super cheap silver tone metal and it's really thin and really lightweight but i'm wondering if i can make that into a bracelet i really like that see i'm inspired i'm inspired you're inspiring me Sue. this looks like it could be silver but i'm not holding my breath claire's it's definitely precious metal then maybe i could use this and this and make some magic happen probably not though because this link that's a tricky link to put back together. You know what I'm saying? What is that? I can't remember what that link is called. I can't remember. I can't remember. I was trying to remember my stuff, but I couldn't. I'm pretty sure this is from a chandelier. <laughs> but it's pretty. This would be pretty in the bling tree if I could figure out how to get it in there. Oh, yes, it would. And set you aside for the tree. All right, this, this doesn't look like anything too crazy good. Some vertigree jewelry, etc. etc. Oh, there's a little poison eye piece. There's a good bling tree piece. These are I don't know. I, I have a hard time selling stuff like this. Just I don't think anyone wants it. But those are also I could put them in the tree. Set these things aside. I guess you could also go in the tree, although you're not too blingy, but that's okay. We'll let it slide. All right, there's like, we got a ton of little odds and ends down here at the bottom. I just don't know if I have time to go through it right now. Oh, look at this. This makes me think of my grandmother. She would freaking love this. Oh my gosh. Do you have a brand? Unbranded. This is just like a gold tone and a, these might be acrylic. But it's like kind of fabulous, like 80s style bracelet jeweler. I don't know. I think that thing is fun. 
I might try to sell that one. I just think it's fabulous. It has a nice fold over chain. I love that. I'll do seven dollars here if anybody wants it. And if not, I might end up putting that one on eBay. I think it's fine. Kind of matches my nails, doesn't it? Cool. All right. What else? Should we, oh, look at this fabulous Christmas lady. Did we see her earlier? I don't remember if we've seen her before. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. No, if you get the kit and have a couple of months. Oh, months. Wow. To make something in your own time, there are rules about how much other stuff you can add to the kit contents. Huh. I've got a few of those chandelier pieces in jars. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wish we had jars around here. Oh, my gosh. Do I ever? I might repost a video I made. It was a live a few months back with like more of these drink chains, but oh my gosh, like the brie cheese. <laughs> we got brie, we got mystery cheese for your charcuterie. That's hilarious. No. Okay. I was like, is this an earring? No, it's not. This is an earring. And then this is just attached to the earring. That is so stinking cute. I might hang this to the side just for maybe one of you. Be the lucky owner of this. I don't know. I'm just going to say two bucks on this thing if anybody wants it. But if not, I might stick it in someone's bag at some point in time. Uh -huh, uh -huh, nothing too crazy good. Some more stickies for the tree. That would be oh, that's a nice one for the tree. Put you over there. Nice prong setting. I got to have prongs. It just makes me too frustrated otherwise. Oh, we got one of those shells that I never remember what they're called, but I always just think chorizo, and I know that's obviously not right, but it's a chorizo shell. All right, what else? What else? What else? What? What? Who is that, Clay? I guess that's Clay. Da, da, da. Litter my table with more crap. Ooh! Oh. Ooh, well, I can bend you back. You can be in the tree. This is tree worthy up and down, or maybe it's a good crafting one. Look at that guy. Oh, I like him. I just got stabbed by something else. What are you? Mm, tree worthy. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> Darn it. Tree or save for a project I'll probably never do. I don't know. Tough decision. All right, we got, I know he's around here somewhere. Here's the match on this guy. Now, I don't know if this is enamel or abalone. Uh, it's hard to tell, but I'm thinking it's abalone. Cute little earrings though. Little hoops. I don't know what to do with them though. I'll do $2 on those hoops if anybody wants them. This is just more plastic. More of this, more of this. Let's see. If you see anything, shout at me. Ooh. Oh, wow. Where's your meat? Are you in here? Probably not. Cat's eye. Oh, cat's eye. Handmade cat's eye earring. That one's kind of cool. At least I think it's cat's eye. Maybe. It's, no, it's definitely cat's eye. Almost has like gray moonstone look to it though. But I don't see another one for that. No friend for you. Oh, look at this little corgi butt. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, I'll have to pick through here and see if I can find any matches. But this guy is a freaking amazing though. I love, love that. Oh, it's got marks. It's got marks. Thailand. B-A-R-S-E. I don't know what that is. Huh. I don't know if that's a precious metal or not, but that design is so cool. Let me see. Let's do some more sprinkling of pieces up here. So if we can find his friend, because I really, really like that one. Stuff sell stuff by the seashore. Welcome in. Yeah, they definitely are wine charms. That's exactly what that is. Somehow I made it in here. I don't know why. Um, what are you? A mood ring? Let's see what my mood is. Is it 
whatever frantic is. That's what the color is going to be. We got some. We got a grandma bracelet. Doll. Isn't that cute? If you're a grandma, is your grandma named grandma or is it something else? Adorbs. So if you're a grandma, there's a nice beaded bracelet for you. We'll do $2 on that too if anybody wants it. But really, I really want to find a match to this earring. I think I found this one earlier and I don't know what I did with it. I don't know if that's a genuine Kendra Scott or not. But it is a genuine rose uh, quartz. Rose quartz. Oh, there it is over here. Why does that sound so wrong? Wait, rose quartz? Rose? Is that what that's called? Why does that sound incorrect? It is a Kendra Sky. Okay, well, there you go. There's the piece. There's the money maker right there. I have no idea how much these things go for, but I will be looking that up. Okay, cool. I got something... Something right up like that I know I can sell. Why does Rose Quartz sound wrong? It, it doesn't sound right, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, wait, what's very high end? I gotta find this earring, you guys. I love it. I don't know if I can pull it off. I keep trying to pull off like wider earrings like this and it just doesn't work for me, but... All right. Okay. I see a ring. It's probably nothing special but we'll try it we'll give it a look-see it's a bead more enamel i'll look through this a little closer later but if you guys spot anything get some more room over here <gasps> look we found the match what do we do oh no i don't know if i should keep these now there's a match wouldn't these be so fabulous at like Christmas and New Year's? Keep bling tree or craft. I don't know, but I'm going to set them aside for now. Actually, I'm going to put them over here with the Kendra Scout. I like those a lot. And then you, you can go over here too while we try to find your friend. And you too. I also really like this one. This little chain hoop. It's just like in really, really nice condition. So. But I don't see his friend. But if you guys do. Oh, here's the ring. Definitely not anything special. Oh, it's got a, it's a little cat's eye. Adjustable cat's eye. Let's see what color frantic is. Frantic is like a gray. I guess that makes sense. I can't adjust it out. Boop. Pinky ring. No, I hate that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Moving right along. There's another K. Here's a little abalone yellow dyed abalone. I don't know if this is actually dyed yellow or if it's just like the enamel coating has yellowed over time. But a little clover. I think it's supposed to be like an orangey yellow kind of color. Silver tone, fold over clasp. These are like little, I, I've seen these, I should say, at the beach. I can't say with certainty if that's what it is or not. I'm not gonna miss it right now actually. I really need to get going. All right, well, sad day. Oh, no, look, we got the chain. We got the chain hoop. Oh, nice. These are good condition, y'all. Let's see. Do they click okay? Oh. Okay, nice and secure. What about you? These feel quality. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't see any marks. Like I would expect this to be gold over just based on the <clears throat> the way they feel. I do see a little teeny tiny bit of pooling on the back of them, but the fronts look they look freaking gold. Okay, those are cool. I'll do eight dollars for those if anybody wants the the chain hoops. Okay. I just think those are fabulous. Okay, sorry, my kids are being noisy. There's the other one. The other Christmas lady. Got more of that. All right, sadly, I don't see that one earring friend in here, which is a bummer. Oh, we got a little how light piece. Actually, I can't tell if that's faux how light or not. It feels, it feels like plastic, but I'm not sure. All right, that's it. Here's a little bits and pieces at the very end. Well, we got some things for the bling tree. We got the Kendra Scott, that's pretty cool. 
Um, I don't remember what else was in the slot from last month. To go back and look at the video because we started this like forever ago. I feel like if you see anything super awesome in there, let me know or send me a message. Um, is that brooch with a green stone to the right? The brooch with a green stone. We're going to have to play hot and cold for me to figure out what you're talking about. <laughs> brooch with a green stone. Let me... Oh, this... You're talking about this one. That, I haven't priced that one out yet. That's um, uranium glass. A gold tone uranium glass brooch. That's just been sent to the side. It's marked. No, it's not. It's unmarked and I don't know what to ask for it. If you want to make an offer, feel free. This is a, like I said, it's a uranium glass. Let me see if I can get my little light out here. This is my weaker light though. So, um, oh yeah, probably, it probably doesn't show up very well when the light is off. Oh, this is my weaker light, but oh, you can still tell. I've got a much nicer light than this one. But I haven't, I don't know what to ask for it. So I just, I haven't done research on it. It's just sitting to the side. If that's the one you're talking about, yeah. But I'll take offers. Um, I just don't know what to do with them yet. I had a few things on the table before we started that I kind of just like shoved to the side. Like this, there's some pretty pieces back here. My little MCM fish. This is an Avon necklace, believe it or not. I've never seen Avon like this. I think this might've been in this lot actually in the earlier part of the lot, but it's really pretty. And I'm just, I haven't seen them like this and I don't remember what I asked for it, but that one's for sale too. And then I had this, uh, I think this came in. Oh, maybe this came from the lot that Nikki gave me. I've got some peacock pearls. So there's just a few things that I just kind of pushed to the side. Oh, these are also Kendra Scott over here. This was actually from the, I think this is from the throw it up box. They've been sitting on my desk too, but maybe I'll lock those up with the other ones. Okay, that's going to be it. I got to get going to this tournament. So everybody wish me luck. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. And, oh yeah, I know. I like it too. I don't know what to do with it. I kind of almost want to keep it because I, I don't own any uranium glass. It's like the first piece I've come across. So I'm tempted, but for now I'll leave it alone. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I super duper appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely Sunday and a lovely week and I will try to get on at some point in time, but you know, mom life, everything is in chaos right now because we're reorganizing the whole house. So, you know, it's just busy, but in any case, I'll find out a time to get on and yeah, y'all have a nice week and I hope to see you guys in another chat. All right. Love to you all. Happy Sunday. Have a good week. Okay. Bye everybody.